is going on everyone? So it is scallop season here in Pasco County, Florida. And the scallop season is only 10 days long. It starts on the third Friday in July and goes for about 10 days after that. So I have been coming out here for multiple days on end and we have been just absolutely having a blast catching scallops out here, giving them to friends and family, loading up the fridge and freezer, and it is a blast. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of what we're doing, how we go about trying to catch them, and maybe at the end I'll do a little catch and cook because I know you guys want some more catch and cooks on this channel. So without too much talking, let's get right on the GoPro and head in the water. Yeah! We already got one, put them in. We already got one! Woo! Coming in hot! A lot of times you can see the scallops from the surface, like right here. I saw the scallop and I dove down and this was the first one I ever got. When scalloping, you really do need a bag like this drawstring mesh bag that I had from Lobstering a couple years ago and that worked very well. Really, you don't need a lot of stuff. You just need a mask, a bag, and a five gallon bucket so you can measure how many scallops you have at the end of the day. We're using some crazy mask where it was covering your entire face and the snorkel is coming up kind of above your forehead and I'll have a link down in the description if you guys want to check those things out because they were perfect for this application. In Pasco County the limit is two gallons per person or ten gallons per boat whichever is less per day. This is sick. We also found a couple scallops that had orange shells on them on the on the underside where the normal part of the scallop is white and apparently this is kind of like a genetic thing it's a little more rare but we did find quite a few of them like that. Scallops are just sitting down on the bottom hiding in the grass, so a lot of times it's hard to see them from the surface, so we found it was very effective to dive down and start searching for them while you were down there. Ready? On day one, it was just me and my buddy Tater, so we went out and our limit was four gallons. That's about two gallons. Round two. quickly learned that scallops can bite. They will clamp down on you and not let go like this guy did on my thumb. You just gotta be careful of that and try and grab them on the back side of their shell by the hinge and try to avoid getting bit. One tip that I discovered pretty quickly is you'll find a lot of scallops on the outside of potholes hanging in the grass. They seem to collect there. Apparently they kind of flush through overnight and they can swim and I just assume that they find these potholes and then go to the edges once the sun comes up. Two right there. Probably a little less than a gallon. Probably run around three gallons. Should I try and cannonball right on there? <laughs> the second day we had four people, so we were able to collect eight gallons, and we felt way more comfortable so i was able to dive down hold my breath a little bit more but where we were at on the flat this time was a little bit deeper it was about eight feet deep and the grass was a little bit thicker so we were actually having to dive down every single time we weren't really seeing them from the surface as much we had to dive down and kind of search through the grass to find them but it was a very effective day Tater and I started having a little bit of a competition where we wanted to see who can get the most scallops on a single dive. And our record from day one was four or five, and we really wanted to beat that this day.
right, so I'm gonna go through and kind of teach you guys how I've learned how to shuck scallops here in this past week. This has really been my first time ever going scalloping, so it's my first time ever having to learn how to shuck scallops. And I just looked online on YouTube videos on how to do it, and this is the best way that we found to do it, is to use a tablespoon right here. And we actually went ahead and used a, uh, a sander, a belt sander, to uh, sharpen one of these uh, tablespoons. It's not like very sharp at all, like I'm still able to go like this, but it just makes it a little thinner at the tip of the spoon to help us kind of carve away at that meat, and you'll see what I mean. So I have a scallop right here. This is the top part of the scallop, and this is the bottom. It's kind of like a flounder kind of situation where this will be the spot that you see when you're diving down. And it's a little more camouflage on the bottom, and then the white is the spot that uh, is hanging under the water, or on the bottom, I mean. So what you wanna do is take your scallop, I have it in my left hand right here, and you wanna turn it upside down so the white part is facing up, and you wanna stick your spoon. It doesn't have to be a sharpened one, you could just use a normal tablespoon. And I'm gonna stick it right in the hinge right there, and use the spoon to kinda of pry it open a little bit more. And then you can see that white muscle, that's the part of the scallop we actually wanna keep. It's kinda of surrounded by guts in there. And what it is, it's attached to both the bottom and the top part of the shell. So what we wanna do is we wanna go through and scrape the meat off the, off the bottom part of the shell so we can pop that off. So I'm gonna stick my spoon in there and kind of get the tip of the spoon in there and go back and forth and scrape that meat from the top. And you can see it kind of lets go right there. So then all you do now is take that shell completely off and then you got all the, the guts in there too. And then you can just throw this away. So as you can see, we got all the, the guts and everything and then we got that white section of meat right there. That's the part we wanna keep. So then I'm gonna go ahead and scrape all the guts and everything around the shell toward the white section of meat right there, that muscle. So do a 360 all around, just scraping the meat off the, or the guts off the shell toward there. And if you can see right there, behind at the back end of the shell behind the the meat there's like a black dot of part of its guts i don't even know really what it is or whatever but i found the easiest way to remove all the guts in one kind of motion is to kind of scoop your spoon underneath the meat without separating or underneath the black dot without separating the meat from this part of the shell yet you just want to put your spoon underneath the black dot and pinch your thumb so you're pinching the the little black dot right there between the spoon and your thumb. So as you can see, the spoon's underneath, got my thumb on it, and all you do is now pinch it and then pull toward you to remove the guts and everything right off the meat. So then what you're left with is a little half shell with your meat attached to this, and what we've been doing is going ahead and kind of cleaning this off a little bit and then drizzling it with a little olive oil while it's still in the half shell, a little garlic, salt, and pepper. And we put putting it on the grill and this is a super simple way to make some really delicious scallops. Or if you want, you can just go ahead and use your spoon to kind of pop that meat right off. And there's your little section of scallop that's now ready for any sort of meal that you want to throw it in. You guys have been wanting a catch and cook and this is going to be the perfect video for it. So right here I have a plate. I got two dozen scallops on the half shell that I've cleaned a couple days ago. Haven't really done anything to them, just kind of washed them off right there. And already on the grill, I have a couple steaks. So we're going to do a little bit of surf and turf. So I'm letting the steaks cook right now. I let them get into a nice uh, medium rare, medium kind of temperature. And then once those are done, then I'm gonna go ahead and put these scallops on the grill, on the half shell, and we'll have a nice little surf and turf because these will not take long at all. These will take four or five minutes, if that. So I'm trying to keep my grill right around like 600 degrees. And like I said, I got the steaks on there cooking away. And once those are done, and I'm letting the steak kind of just sit and letting it kind of cool off after grilling, that's when I'm gonna throw the scallops on. So. All you need is some olive oil, some garlic salt, and some black pepper. So the first step on um, what I like to do is I take the olive oil and just kind of drizzle a little bit over the top. Let each one kind of get a good amount of olive oil right in the shell, right around the meat. You know, it'll help kind of cook that uh, scallop right in the olive oil. Take your, your garlic salt, 
sprinkle a little bit of garlic salt right over the top. Take your black pepper, go ahead and crack some of that over the top. Make sure each one is covered. There you go. You just want to make sure that each one of those scallops has a little olive oil in the shell around the meat and has a nice little coating of the garlic salt and the, the black pepper. Let's go ahead and check the temperature of the steaks. That one's good. They're both good, perfect. Take these steaks off. These are ribeyes that I got from Costco. There. Now all I'm gonna do is take these scallops right here and lay them down, shell side down, right on the grill, just like this. The temperature is at, or was at about 600. So it should take about four minutes and they will be done. And when that goes off, it should be done. There we go. One thing you do have to kind of be mindful of is they do like to sometimes pop off the shell. So let's see. Go ahead and take these off. Put them on the plate right here. The meat should just kind of pop right off the shell when we go to eat them. You could either plate it like this, still on the shell, or you could pop it off. Should've got a bigger plate, but that is a delicious looking plate of scallops right there. So there we go, we got my ribeyes right there and scallops that we caught a couple days ago, all on the grill. Nice little catch and cook right there. We're gonna go ahead, put this together, get a nice little surf and turf dinner, and it's gonna be delicious, I guarantee you that. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.